Oh, well, uh, good morning. It's Monday morning. We had a pretty early start this morning. Uh, got away from the campsite nice and early to get Nikki to her conference here at the Haythrop Park Hotel. I'm just making myself some tea and some boiled eggs. I'm going to have some breakfast and then we're going to have a look round the park whilst Nikki's in her conference. Well, this is the uh, hotel entrance. Pretty fancy place, eh? Well, it's certainly a uh, nice sunny day. Well, it's a pretty grand place. Obviously a big country estate at one time. Well, the house was built by Charles Talbot, the first Earl of Shrewsbury in the early 1700s. It'd be all right, live a place like that, wouldn't it? There was a big fire in 1831 and the house was then sold to the Brassy family who rebuilt it. All these snowdrops are starting to come out. Very nice. From 1926 to 1970 it was a Jesuit college and then in 1970 it was sold to the NatWest Bank as their training centre. Bit of a walled garden here. That's pretty nice isn't it? There's this year's crop of high-vis jackets being uh, tended, ready for the summer. Then in 1999, NatWest moved on and it became the current hotel and conference centre. Well, I do believe I'm walking across the golf course bit now. Very nice countryside. There's a nice lake down there and this road goes down to a nice little old stone bridge look. What a cracking spot. These golfers get looked after, don't they? I wonder how Nikki's getting on in her conference. She'd probably much rather be out here strolling in the woods. Ah, oh, look, what's in here, do you reckon? Well, I'm thinking this is the remains of some sort of powerhouse. I suspect you could divert the water to come out of that pipe there. And I think this is a wheel pit for a water wheel. Nice old timber work. Looks like someone's had a bit of a go at burning it, rather stupidly. Yeah, over there you can see part of what would have been an iron mount of some sort, I think, for the wheel. Or possibly a frame for the drive, whatever sort of power it generated, possibly electricity. Yeah, you can see the marks in this pit wall look of the water wheel. Possibly a little bit out of line or a bolt or something sticking out at some point. You can see it wasn't a massive wheel, I'm guessing that's probably something like 8 foot diameter. Not much left of those wooden lintels though. Well, we're a cracking little find. Anyhow, best get on with our walk. Ah, look at this uh, lovely old iron gate post. I like an old iron gate post, don't you? Another little weir. No powerhouse here, though. Well, it's absolutely cracking weather today. Had quite heavy rain overnight, drumming down on the roof of the van. But uh, really brightened up this morning. Unfortunately, it looks like this little weir is suffering a little bit. You can see the um, ground on that side of it. It's been scoured out. It's quite a log jam there where the water's been rushing through that little channel that it's made behind instead of going properly over the weir. In fact, you see the top uh, stones are cracked where I think the weir's dropped. It's obviously being undermined underneath. 
don't think that'll last much longer unless someone fixes it. Bit of a fork in the path here. I think that way is the main footpath, but I think you can go along this way over a little bridge and down the side of the river still. This one heads away from the river. So I'm going to try and keep following the river, I think. It seems like this path definitely isn't as well trodden. There's a lot of undergrowth to clamber through. Looks like there's some big old trees come down recently and made a bit of a log jam in the river. Now, this monster tree has come down, completely blocking the path. I wonder if it's better to climb over or go round by the roots. Oh, it's a pretty mossy, rotten, wet old tree. So I reckon it's easier to come round by the roots. A bit boggy down there as well. Now this, I think, is where that other branch of the footpath would have come out. Looks like it would have been a bit easier going, doesn't it? Well, it's 5 to 12 now and I'm thinking it's time to head back to the van for a nice cup of tea and some lunch. Another splendid iron gatepost. How about this rear view? Look, lovely ornamental lake and the old avenue leading up to the big house. Splendid. More snowdrops. Lovely. This is definitely a path trod more by deer than people look. Oh, oh dear. I should find another way round. Ah, look, someone's made themselves a sort of ornamental gorge walk kind of thing. Oh man, what's this down here? Looks like a uh, artificial cave. Oh wow, that's exactly what it is, but somebody has barred it off rather unhelpfully. I wonder if it's barred off at the other end. Looks a bit muddy under there, doesn't it? Well, I found me the other end and uh, some unsporting Jobsworth has uh, put a gate on this end as well. That's a great shame. I'll stick my camera on the tripod through the gate so you can have a proper look. Pretty well done actually, I think, isn't it? So there you go, a whale grotto and pond built in 1870 by James Pullum commissioned by Thomas Brassey to house a collected northern bottlenosed whale skeleton. Well, I guess that's as good a place as any to keep your whale skeletons. 
Well, this is about the only spot so far I've found to sit down and take a rest for a few minutes. Well, that was a pretty good walk, and we're nearly back at the van now, and I'm just about ready for that lunch. Ah, oh, there she is. Let's get the kettle on. Oh, lovely. Got me some nice tea and some lunch. Look, I've got uh, Huntsman's Pie from the Blunisham Butcher. It's like a pork pie, but instead of a crust on the top, it's got chicken, then stuffing. Excellent. Well, I thought I'd come into the hotel and find somewhere nice to sit and read my book while I waited for Nicky. I guess this will do at a pinch. Well, Nikki's finished her conference now and we're back in the van and it only remains really to drive home. Get some dinner on the way, I'm hungry. And maybe get some dinner on the way. Well that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.